Hello students. I am Professor Michelle Lane of Stanford University. I'm a scientist specializing in the study of minerals. I've been asked to talk to you about the physical properties of gold and halite. Gold is a mineral found naturally in the ground and in rivers. Its symbol on the periodic table is AU. It is very rare and quite valuable all over the world. Halite is also found in the ground, usually in caves, but never in water. It is a compound mineral made up of two elements. Sodium with the symbol Na and chlorine with the symbol Cl. Let's do a quick experiment. When gold is dropped into water it slows initially but then falls to the bottom at a steady rate. Gold is very dense so even a small piece is very heavy. The nugget will not dissolve in water, even after many years of sitting in it. Gold is one of the most stable metals known to man. It will not rust and almost nothing can destroy it. It can easily be bent and molded but it will not break. Halide behaves much differently despite being a solid rock. Upon hitting the water it begins to dissolve very quickly. The elements that make up halite, sodium and chlorine, separate when mixed with water. The polar water molecules, with their positive and negative regions, attract both the sodium and chloride ions well enough to pull the ions apart from one another. What you end up with is a mixture of sodium and chlorine that spreads through the water. Once separated they remain mixed, though most of the molecules will very slowly sink to the bottom of the glass. Our tests have shown that gold is much more durable than halide and they should not be used for the same purposes.